Orton coming up in this half hour. Well, you know what? We're going to talk to a guy that may eventually give tech advice to the president, but he's telling us what he wants to talk about is how the software industry is changing faster than we can watch it. Plus, we're going to be answering your nagging computer questions a little later on. But right now, Kevin's back. Hey, he never went anywhere because he's got another dark tip. This time, we're talking Linux? Yes, we're talking Linux this time. This CD right here, it's full of every single security tool and hacking tool you could ever possibly need. And you can install it on a CD-ROM drive without yes. installing it on your system. Exactly. This is called uh, Nopix STD, and STD stands for Security Tools Distro. <laughs> Not the normal STD you would think about. It's a different STD. It's a different STD. And what it is, it's a distribution of Linux that mm -hmm. you burn, you to download the image, which mm -hmm. is about 600, 650 megabytes, and then you burn it to a CD, like you would a standard ISO file, like with Nero. Got it. And once you burn it to the CD, you put it in the CD-ROM drive, reboot the machine, and it boots right inside of Linux, right into Linux. So there's nothing you have to install, no hard drives to reformat or repartition, right. it just boots right in. So it's similar to the, the, the original Nopix we saw, which is kind of a, you know, try it out without installing it on your system version of Linux, but this exactly. one is targeted... It's targeted for the security expert in mind. Not the hacker, the security expert. Got it. It's got a lot of really cool tools. Check this out. Let me, let me just run through them here. So it's running right now. This is running right here. This is STD. And uh, we click on the little start menu here, and you'll see that everything here on the left-hand side here, look at this, cracker, encryption. It's got a firewall built in, a honeypot, intrusion detection system, penetration tools. Everything you could ever possibly manage, uh, imagine that was created for Linux is in this distro. So you walk into a small business, you load this up on a system, you start running your applications. You don't have to bring a system in, you don't have to wipe one of their systems. You can start seeing what's going on in their network. Exactly. In fact, the funny thing is, you, you should mention that, a friend of mine that works uh, for the United Nations, he was telling me they were having problems because people would walk in with this disk, not have any computers on them, right. not have anything that would set off the metal detectors, and they'll just find a machine in the corner, pop the disk in, close the CD-ROM tray, uh -huh. and instantly they have an entire Linux uh, console at their command to do whatever they want. So should we start stripping you know, CDRs off of people as they walk into That's, secure areas? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I would think so. I would think so <laughs> at this point because you can do anything with this. But anyway, let me show you what we're doing. This program okay. is called Nessus. This is the program that's built into it. I'm going to launch it here. And what this is, it's a vulnerability scanner. What it's going to do is it's going to scan your entire system or any target that you type in IP address. Mm -hmm. It's going to look for different holes that uh, can actually be vulnerabilities that can be exploited. So let me show you here. We'll click on like miscellaneous. And you'll see down here, these are all the different holes that it's going to scan for. You can see our HP LaserJet hack, and it tells you all about the hack and exactly how it's going to try and scan for it. Someone could put naughty messages on the LaserJet display. O open SSL, <laughs> trace route hacks. I mean, thousands of different hacks. These are all called plugins, and you can actually download and get the latest hacks instantly from their site. So you can choose a particular hack you want to test for a vulnerability on, or you could check them all and just do a total scan. Exactly, and the total scan is going to scan for a couple thousand. And let's say, for instance, we're watching the news, and we see a, no, a new vulnerability just came out. Got it. Well, you can go to their site, download that plugin, drop it into the plugins directory, fire up your version of Nessus. You'll see the vulnerability listed there. Check it. Choose scan. It's going to hit the system and try and see if that system's vulnerable to that. You had a couple other tools in here that you liked. I did. There was uh, there's Air Snort, which I'm going to be showing here coming up, which is a, a wireless uh, cracking tool that I just got running today, which is really cool. Um, and there's, uh, there's a bunch of tools we're going to run through at a, at a later point. I'll bring each one to you. At a different Do you need time. a fast machine or a lot of memory to run this? Not really. I mean, this is a distro of Linux. It's really lightweight. It's on a CD. You don't need a, a really fast machine. The memory requirements are very minimal, like 32 megs, something like that, not much at all. I suspect you have an article on the website. I have an entire article with a download link. You can download it tonight. You can be playing with Linux tonight. You don't have to repartition or anything. Nopix STD, folks, not the sex one. If you want to check out <laughs> Nessus, you got to check out Kevin's article with the screensaver.